It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. Ice, what up, man? I'm happy to be here, Sway, man. You know, I've been working on this movie two years, yes. man. It's about to come out. I'm happy. What made you decide to do it? Like, you know... You know, I mean, I had my opinions. I had things I wanted to say about hip hop. And, you know, as far as it being an art form, I felt that, you know, because people see us rap off the top of the head, people don't realize that people take a pen and pad and this is serious business, mm-hmm. you know. And I, I wanted to document it as a craft, not something that can be washed under the carpet or thrown away, like discarded, like so many other things. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went around to all my friends and I said, I got an idea. I want to do a movie. But I'm going to ask you questions. Not about the money, the cars, the girls, the beef. About the craft. Like, mm-hmm. how do you write your rhymes? What mindset are you in? And everybody said, yeah. Took a couple years to get everybody, but the movies come out. I mean, we've, we're we doing the movie differently. Like, mm-hmm. like, we're letting the critics see it first. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then we're letting the critics talk. You don't do that if your movie's whack. Yeah. You don't let the critics see it first. Uh-huh. So we're doing screenings right now, and the movie comes out June fifteenth. June fifteenth, and like, and uh, Ice T is here with us. Also, Yaz is joining me as well today. Um, now, who are some of the artists that are featured on this movie? Man, it's too many to name. I mean, I had to start at the origin, so I start with Grandmaster Kaz, then goes to Bambada. Ooh. You got Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, of course, KRS One. On, 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 we got. Eminem, Royce59, Kanye West is in there. We got mm. uh, people like uh, Dr. Dre, mm-hmm. Nas, Ice Cube. Thing of it is, is I just went to the people that I have relationships with. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I couldn't get everybody in hip hop. We started off shooting. I ended up shooting 52 MCs. When we rapped, I had 25 people waiting to be shot. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. And the only comment I can say about the movie or any negative is like i didn't see my favorite rapper but my comment is if you don't see your favorite rapper trust me you'll see you'll see your favorite rapper's favorite rapper okay he's yeah, in yeah, there yeah. <laughs> that's good that's good or she's uh, in there because i got a few ladies i got salt uh-huh. i got mc light finish the line t ice oh, t shit. here okay what deuce deuce revolver was, was- Oh, oh, damn. Damn, man. Jeez. What? Deuce, Deuce, Revolver was my problem solver. Had a deaf girl, really didn't want to involve her in the life of, of a gangster. gangster. Used to rob bangster. See, you know, that's that real shit. Niggas don't know about that. That's pain. Jail cells know me too damn well. Seems like I got built on earth my own personal hell. No matter how high I climb, somehow I always fell. I guess a lot of players got this story to tell. Ice tea, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Ice T. Art of Rap is the name of the documentary coming out June 15. Will it be in major uh, uh, theaters or how can people get it? It's like- an independent film. Uh huh. So we hitting about 300 seat theaters nationally, but it'll be in your town. You know, you might have to seek it out. Might not be right down the street, but it'll be there. But regarding dealing with how well it does the first week, yeah. it might just explode. And you know, documentaries like Michael Moore's win Oscars. Mm hmm. So we're looking at it like hip hop needs to show up, represent, you know what I'm saying? This is a movie about the culture (laughs) and sometimes we need to show our power at the box office because I know you might have a movie you want to do or somebody else. So Mm -hmm. when this movie is bigger than that, it's kind of like when I did New Jack City, that movie being so successful allowed a lot of other urban movies and things to happen. Mm -hmm. Like me being on Law & Order. That's nothing but Caucasians, man. That's NBC, Jack. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when you get on there and you show that you can hold that spot, that lets other people get that action. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's not just about this movie. It's just about, you know, the culture moving into film, so mm-hmm. to speak. Yo, man, all the rap. I'm definitely going to support me. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45.